Welcome back to this Rhode Island Sailors NCAA 25 team builder. We won our first game of the season against our rivals, Brown, and now we are going into our second game of the year against Oregon State, another conference game. They are 1-0, we're 1-0. One of us will have a loss here, probably us. Um, Oregon State, this is their first conference game. We're a 1-0 in the conference. If you do not know, the Pac-12, there's only four teams in it. In real life, there's only two teams. I added both team builder teams, Pro Providence, Rhode Island, me, the Sailors, and Brown University, who are the URI's real rivals in real life. Um, so the Pac-12 now consists of four teams, but as we continue seasons on, I'm going to add more teams to the Pac-12 because the conference is dying. So right now, there is a conference championship game, but each team only plays three games because there's only four teams. But regardless, we can go 2-1, and one and we can be in the conference championship game. If we win all three games, we could be the best in the conference, and we could walk out of this season. We could go 3, and what would it be, 9? We could go 3-9 and nine and walk out as a conference champions. That That's crazy. But regardless, I already did my recruiting um, off camera, I believe. We don't have any hours, but this is what it's looking like. We're trying to go after Zach Nowiski. Uh, we're above Arizona. We're looking good on him. He's he's not ready for a visit yet, yet, right? Oh, we already did. We scheduled a visit against Louisville, which I think is in two weeks. Um, this cornerback, he is um, a bust, but I'm still going after him because he does have... Oh, he only has 85 speed. Why am I going after him then? He's not that great. He is not that great. I mean, probably because no one else is going after him, might as well. Um, so yeah, this is what's all looking like our backup QB right here. We're looking at is Pierre Bobo uh, We're most likely guaranteed to get him 85 throw power decent accuracy all around um, 79 speed but 86 Excel very very solid But uh, Auburn's probably gonna get this guy So I'm gonna I spend points and I'm gonna do recruiting more off-camera to show you guys so we can kind of get straight to the gameplay but Oregon State, before we hop into it, before we hop into it, we are going to um, upgrade our coach, and I'm going to throw everything I have into Recruiter. Um, do we look at all offense first? We have enough for three more upgrades. Do I want to spread it across three different trees, or do I want to shove it into one? Because our defense needs a lot of help, and I feel like our defensive backs, scouting some good deep. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to put two in defensive back, and I'm also going to put one into D-line because I think I'm going to focus most of my points on defense because that is our weakest point instead of focusing it all on offense because I think I can recruit some offensive players. If not, I can work with what I got. And we are going to be making some changes. David DePole, after last week, earned the starting spot over Tyler Olsen. Tyler Olsen didn't play bad, but his wear and tear was just, and he's a senior, his wear and tear was a bit too much. David DePaul, I want to see what he does as a full-time starter. Tyler Olsen will still be getting some reps. Um, but I didn't even know he had 89 speed, too. But these guys, I mean, their stats are very similar. Uh, DePaul's got one less throw power. He's got five less short accuracy, four less uh, medium, but he has more deep. So for a 6'4 overall, he's really solid. And I think that's the only changes I'm going to make. Spencer Strickland had one hell of a game, but he ended up getting hurt. Keontae Tyson was huge and i low-key want to put him at wide receiver but he's so small i could see him running slot he'd be our oh that's fullback what am i doing i could see him running a bit of slot wide receiver he'd be our quickest wide receiver so if possible i am tempted to do that i don't think i can though no it doesn't let me put him at wide receiver he'd be our fastest one that's what sucks um so, yeah, that, that really does suck. He'd be way undersized. I mean, he'd be the same height as Scooter Page, who is our, I think, slot right now. So, that's the only thing that sucks. I wish... Because you can't change positions during the season. It does not let you. But, man, I really wish I could play him at wide receiver. But, regardless, regardless, we're going to hop into this game against Oregon State. And let's see if we can get a dub. Oh, I can I? I can switch his position. So I can actually, I actually can switch the position editing the player. So we are going, did it save? Did it save? It did save. What's this overall? Uh, oh, he's a 59 overall at wide receiver. Yikes. All right, we're not going to do that. I figured he might drop to like a 65, 60 something. I didn't think 59. 
bro is getting making plays out at wide receiver. All right, that's fine. That's fine. It, it was worth the try. <laughs> it was definitely worth the try there. Oregon State, Rhode Island, Pac-12 conference game. They're an 81 overall, and we are out here in our black alternates. And I just realized all the accessories are the main colors. That's fine. Dude, these have to be the cleanest uniforms I think I've seen. And I'm not biased because I made them. But these all blacks. Oh, my Lord. Look at how clean these are. Oh, my God. I also didn't bench Tyler. Oh, I thought I benched Tyler Olsen. Why is he in the game right now? Why is he starting off? Did I not bench him? I'm pretty sure I benched him. Um, uh, Apparently, I didn't bench him. All right. Um, So, he's going to be playing this first snap. But you're going to see just how clean these all blacks are oh my goodness definitely my favorite uniform Keontae Tyson's gonna get the ball to start off he breaks a tackle but he's gonna end up losing a yard on the play all right here comes David DePole into the game I don't know how to pronounce his name so it's gonna be DePole um the Paul whatever the hell I'm gonna say it in different ways we're gonna give it off to the tight end he holds on and he's still going we get about four yards there third and seven um, do we run? I think we're going to run a halfback screen here. Um, it's going to be Strickland. I'd rather it be Tyson. But let's see. The screen was really good for us against Brown. Will it work today? And we do get the first down off the screen. I, you know, it's kind of bothering me, the uh, accessories being that color. But it's fine. 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 I just can't get over these uniforms. I, I know I should get off my high horse. What was that? Why am I holding? Why is the quarterback holding on to the ball for so long? I understand it's a play action. There is no reason for him to be holding on for the ball for that long. We know the pole has speed. We know he has speed using his legs. And he's going to get the first down 13 yards. Second, Danny, we're going to run a screen here with Keontae Tyson. It was his bread and butter last week. And we ran it to perfection. What a play. He jukes him in, gets the first down. Right there. Oh, bad pass there from David DePole. Not good. Uh, that's going to leave us at second down. Uh, I guess we're doing 6 8 9 hook. <laughs> I guess they really wanted us to do it. We have Foreman on the streak. Our wide receivers are not quick enough. Do And David DePole's going down. Third and 23. He got hit hard there. Not good. Um, a part of me wanted to do the screen because I we're, we're not converting this. I want to do a screen just so. Oh, we're not going to convert it, but we're going to get back in the field goal range at least. 45 yards. We already know I am probably not making this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it is. And was that roughing the kicker? Please be roughing the kicker. It was. It was roughing the kicker. I know it. Roughing the kicker. We're getting a new set of downs. Give me that first and 10 on the 14, baby. David DePole, we're going to use his legs. He's going to the outside. He dives in. Touchdown, Sailors. David DePole in the end zone. His first rushing touchdown of the season in his first ever collegiate start. Showed out last week against Brown. Coming in for Tyler Olsen, who was injured and worn down. And he gets in, makes a big play, and dives into the end zone for the touchdown. All right, first possession on defense. And not going to lie, Oregon State's got some clean-ass uniforms. Um, they're going to double-team immediately. And, yeah, this is where we're going to struggle the most is that secondary. So we struggled against Brown, who is, have the same exact roster as us. Um, we struggled very hard against that second uh, with the secondary. So our D-line was good. And, of course, as I say, that he goes for six yards. But... Oregon State is a solid team. I believe they're a three-star team. They're 81 overall, so they're three, three or two stars. But this team is a lot better than us. It's amazing that we kind of got bailed out with that um, roughing the kicker call as we're going to stop them third and two. We got bailed out with that roughing the kicker call that allowed us to get a touchdown. But we cannot underestimate this team. They might not be good in the eyes of, you know, actual college football. As we fourth and inches, defense is going to get the stop. But yeah, we cannot underestimate Oregon State. We cannot underestimate. I forget. Is it? It's not Western Kentucky. I forget what the other team is in the Pac-12. But we cannot underestimate any of these teams because you saw that overtime game against Brown. That wasn't pretty. 
and Strickland already has severe wear and tear. We're going to have to sub him out for at least the rest of this quarter. Third and four. We are going to pass it here. Slant play. And I didn't want to throw that. I am not going to lie. I twitched and hit R1. I wanted to run with the pole. But, I mean, uh, yeah, that not smart. Not smart there. Well, let's see if we can get a good punt here. And there we go. Let's see if we get a good punt here. Solid punt. Not going to lie. Very, very solid punt. They're going to call a fair catch at the 31. Third and five here. This is our kryptonite. Third down conversion. We're in man, so I'm not liking that because our corners are slow. They're going to run it. Stupid idea for them. We have a good rush defense. Fourth down. Another three and out for Oregon State. They're pressing Williamson on that left side. I don't think he's going to have enough speed. But, I mean, we'll see. And, okay. All right. Get rid of the ball. He's wide open. Wide open. Who is number 22? That was very interesting. That Scooter Page. Very interesting play. Once again, it was that play call where they just held on for the ball too long. And nice juke there by Tyson. Held on for the ball there too long and actually worked out on that possession there. Uh, we're probably not going to see Spencer Strickland for the rest of this quarter. I'm not going to lie. He's our best running back, obviously, by far. Even though Keontae Tyson is really good. But his wear and tear, bro. Like... He's good for a few plays, and then he has to come back out of the game. We're going to see some Buford Jr. minutes here. Let's see what he can do. He's like a 55 overall. He's our kick returner, actually. And he's going to have a big run. Buford Jr. That the five. Touchdown, Sailors. A 55 overall third string. Our kick returner in the end zone. Bro, Sp damn, those uniforms are nice. Spencer, bro, if you can't stay your ass on the field... We got two players that would be happy to have your minutes. Julius Buford Jr. with a 34. His first touch of the game is a 34-yard touchdown. And we are now at 14-0. Now, we cannot get too excited because uh, we had this exact same score against Brown. And at the end of the second quarter, they scored a touchdown and never looked back. Oregon State's now doing hurry up. I hate this, dude. I, that's the one thing I hate about College Football 25 is the hurry up. It is insane. We got, oh, he stays up, but we take him down three yards. We got off the edge with our, see, I mean, that they would let me call the play, and then they immediately go straight to hurry up. It's so weird. But, let's see, their running back's tired, though. He, he's not going to be able to keep up. We got to hit him hard, if we can even hit him. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. We are either taking him out of the game or we're forcing a fumble. He is feeling it. If you're going to keep running, hurry up. We are going to knock your running back into next week if you give him the ball. I'm telling you that much right now. They give him the ball again. Take him down. Fourth and five. Hurry up. Ain't working, buddy. We're going to run for the first time. I'm going to run a triple option. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not what I thought that'd be. But Buford gets a solid eight. Oh, my God. He fumbled. Please get the ball. What is happening? We got the ball back. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, that was not a smart play call there. That was tough. I was trying to scramble, and it didn't end well. Scooter Page, though, might be left wide open. He Not wide open, but he was open. Third and three here. Three minutes left. I think we go screen. We've done it on third and longs. We can do it on third and short. Keontae Tyson, the man of the hour. Can he get it? He has so much room. Keontae Tyson. Oh, he got rocked. Keontae Tyson. Ah, uh, that, that could have been a big run. Maybe if I used a little ball carrier move. We could have got a little bit there. Second and two. Minute 50 left. Let's see if we can score. If we can go up three possessions at halftime or even before halftime. Not a good block there, 71. What are we doing? If we could somehow go up three possessions before halftime, that would be unbelievable against a, a real-life team as Keontae Tyson is going to fight for the first down. And right now, he's fighting for that starting spot over Spencer uh, Strickland. I mean, without a doubt, with the way Spencer has been getting hurt, we're going to scramble here with the pole. He's got the speed. He breaks the tackle. He fumbles again. No. Bro, he fumbles again. I tried to slide, and it wouldn't let me. Oh, where'd they get a chainsaw? Right there. Pick. It's going right back. 
20, I don't know his name, but he with a big interception. The ball's coming back. Turn over for the Rhode Island Sailors. Oregon State can't believe it. Jaden Bowie with the interception. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. David DePole, he's got a bit of wear and tear, so we're probably going to start Tyler Olsen in the second half. He somehow gets that off, and we're somehow going to nearly get a first down off of it. Under a minute left. Going to go slants here. David DePole, just end this first end this first half, all right? You got enough to end this first half. I won't be scrambling with you, I promise. I lied. Right there. Perfect dot. Touchdown, Sailors. Williamson in the end zone. What a dot by the 64-year-old. I think he's a sophomore. David DePole to Demetrius Williamson for the Rhode Island touchdown. He has two incompletions on the day. He does have two fumbles, one resulting in a turnover, but... 21 nothing. 46 seconds left in this first half. We're rushing. We're rushing, and we get to him. Third and 18. They're down to the four-yard line. <laughs> they should have just ran the clock out. What are you doing? Now, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you're like, ah, maybe we should put this on Heisman. Listen. The oh my God. Oh, we nearly got it again. Fourth and 12. That's gonna take us to the end of the half. You're like, all right, maybe we should up this to Heisman. Not yet. I want to see how we play against a ranked school, and if we if we hold our own against a ranked school, then I might consider upping it to Heisman. I'm just not ready for Heisman yet. Not just yet. Right there. Oh, it's deflected. I thought we had another turnover. Great play by Terrell Pace there. Will they be running the ball? I'm actually going to use the middle linebacker here. Will they run it? They do not. They're going to... Oh, they get, yeah, they get it wide open. Wide open for the receiver, and that's a first down. They, they've ran hurry up this whole possession. Third and five. Can they convert? Let's see. They're audibling. I feel like they're going to convert here. It's not been, they've not been very nice to their running back here. As, yep, they're going to convert. The tight end holds on, and that's a first down. Bro, yeah, they're going to run hurry up this whole possession. I already know it. But, bro, your running back is dying on the field, and you just do not care, huh? Just straight hurry up offense for the Oregon State Beavers. Right there. Right there. Turnover number two. <laughs> Perfect timing pick for Bowie Terrell, I think it is. Right in open Jaden. Jaden Bowie with his second pick of the day. He wants National Player of the Week. He wants it. Another turnover. For the Rhode Island Sailors, we're going to run screen here. Get a block. Keontae Tyson with a nice game. We bring in Strickland back in. I moved him to the backup, though, so he doesn't get too many reps because that injuries. And if you didn't notice, Tyler Olsen is in the game as Strickland drops. It's a third and five. Um, I want to see what Tyler Olsen can do here in this third quarter. Um, so far, I mean, not terrible. Not bad. We'll see. Um, Williamson is going to be open on that streak. He breaks a tackle, and he gets taken down at the 27. Oh, Williamson has him beat. Demetrius Williamson, the biggest play in school history. He does not get to the end zone. Oh, he did not have the speed. He gets down to the one. That's tough, bro. That's actually so tough. Yeah, and he's not even on the field for this. He's not even going to get a touchdown for it. And we're going to go right there to Page. Touchdown, Sailors. That's, yeah, that's Page. 28 nothing for the Sailors. Unbelievable performance. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Number three for the Sailors. We're making this Oregon offense look silly. Is that Holland? DeMarvin Holland with the pick. Bro, what a performance right now from this defense. I I talk garbage on them, especially the secondary. Where was this against Brown? Three turnovers in this game through the air. Unbelievable. That is astonishing, actually, right now. 28-0 lead for the Sailors, and Strickland... I see his daylight. He's going to be taking... See, one one tackle, and he lost a meter for um, the wear and tear. Like, that's actually crazy, bro. I, I don't think he can be our starter. I think after this game, we will change Keontae Tyson to... Ow, oh, we got hit hard. We're going to change Keontae Tyson to the starting running back. But 
My God, what a performance from this defense. The offense, ain't, obviously, he's doing very well. Two, two, uh, only one turnover, actually. But we did fumble, get rid of it. Is that going to be intentional grounding? I feel like I was out of the pocket. And it is. I felt like I was out of the pocket there, but I, I, I guess not, apparently. Um, but yeah, this offense is playing fantastic, but we expected that. Uh, but this defense, bro, has been absolutely phenomenal. Strickland, I know you don't have the speed. I know you don't have the hands either. As fourth and 20, we're going to be forced to punt here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Good punt here. Good punt. Good punt. Good punt. Let's see. Let's see if we get a solid punt here. Ah, uh, no. Nah, that, that, that's awful. That, that's an actually terrible punt. Oh, and yep. Oregon State to the end zone. They get their first touchdown of the game. Comes towards the end of the third quarter. They get... It was actually their running back. The one that has been absolutely been killed today gets in the end zone. And it's a 7-28 to game heading into the fourth. I mean, I'm not going to talk much in this fourth quarter because I am going to put shoot clock on and run this thing down. Oh, fumble! And we get the ball. That's their, what, fourth turnover on offense? We get the fumble. I knew the hit sticks would eventually come into play. That dude on the left is going nuts with those eyes. Oh, my goodness. Kobe Garland, the right end, the sophomore, lays him out right there. It forces the fumble. Beautiful play. And we're right back on offense. Down to a first and goal on the one-yard line. Can we get punch it in? Right there. That's a touchdown. Who is that to? Page? Scooter Page? That's a tutty for Scooter Page in the end zone. That's his second touchdown of the day. He is our end zone threat because he can't really do much else with his like 83 speed. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Their fifth turnover of the day. Four of them being interceptions. He's, he's so slow. He's so slow. What a play once again. After I dogged on this secondary, they come in and get four interceptions in this game. Noah Collins, the junior. Wow, from Louisiana. I The beginning of this episode, I came in and I dogged this secondary for that game against Brown because of what they did and today they shut me up four turnovers just in the air that's not counting the fumble we had on the ground what a performance from this defense and Spencer Strickland bro if you could stay on the field you would be one of 10 attempts 75 yards you'd be one of the best running backs in the nation we got two great running backs in Strickland and Keontae but Unbelievable game. Wow, they, they it's like parting the Red Sea. Spencer Strickland, if... Ooh, you're lucky, that corner. Ooh, that, they're lucky. Unbelievable performance. And we might even get into the end zone again. Are we going to blow him out? We should have did this to Brown. It actually, make, this is the second time he got hurt. It kind of makes sense that Brown was a super close game because if it, the rosters were exactly the same. I didn't know that. I thought they kind of auto-generated rosters. I don't know why I thought EA would put that. Wow, that went nowhere. I don't know why I thought EA would put that much effort into it. Um, I, was, I was thinking, a little, I was giving them a little bit too much credit. But, yeah, we have the same exact rosters. But, can we get into the end zone one more time? Just one more time. Tyler Olsen using his legs, and that's a touchdown. 42 points for the Sailors. And Tyler Olsen is getting a hype. Playing this entire second half here. And we're going to go up 42-7 in that. I mean, it was already over and we were up 28-0. But that's going to do it. And as time ticks down, your Rhode Island Sailors are going to end their home run 2-0. 2-0 in the conference so far. And that, honestly, <laughs> that clinches us into the um, conference championship game because we have beat both teams. I feel like, like two teams are already 0-1 and we beat both of them. So, Tyler Olsen was actually the player of the game, only playing one half, 130 yards, three touchdowns, and we probably already clinched a conference championship berth, um, because, well, actually, no, we, we definitely didn't, we're only 1-0, oh, no, we're 2-0, oh. we're 2-0, yeah, we're 2-0, oh. yeah, we're 2-0 oh. in the conference championship, so yeah, we might have, we might have already clinched the conference championship berth, um, stat-wise, I mean, this defense played out of their mind, dude, we had, we only allowed 12 first downs, and they had exactly half of our total yards on offense. They only had 231 yards on offense. 
Uh, 17. They only had 40 rushing yards. They averaged 2.4 yards a rush. We had 203 rushing yards. They went 20 of 28 and a touchdown, but they had four picks. We went 23 of 29 with three touchdowns. I think all three of those. No, Tyler Olsen had a rushing touchdown. I mean, we dominated them. They went two of nine at the third down conversions. O of one on their fourth down conversions. We every time. Oh, is that we had five? To, oh yeah, we missed a field goal. I don't know if that counts. Um, but five turnovers for them. We only had one, which was that fumble. Four picks. One of theirs was the fumble. I mean, unbelievable game for our defense. 520 yards of offense. We had 11 more minutes of possession here for Rhode Island. I mean, David DePole had more opportunities for passing. Um, and this game is Tyler Olsen is the player that did more with less. Last game it was the poll. He still was absolutely, absurdly amazing. I uh, mean, only two incompletions, 15 of 17, 129 yards, and a touchdown. Um, he did have a fumble, but still a great game for him. He's still going to be a starter. But Tyler Olsen, 8 of 12, 130 with two touchdowns and a touchdown on the ground. That is beautiful. We might stick with this kind of um, rotation of we play one of them in the first half, one in the second half. Um, depending on their performance, we'll take them out. But I really like that. Give them both a, essentially split their minutes. Um, Rushing-wise, this is kind of, I mean, Spencer Strickland, very limited times. He only he played essentially like two quarters. And he had 14 attempts for 104 yards. He did not have a touchdown, though. Um, that went to Julius Buford, four attempts, 52 yards. He had that 34-yard run for a touchdown. Keontae Tyson struggled um, a lot in this game. Especially with wear and tear. Nine attempts, only 22 yards. He could not do much. And receiving-wise, it was Demetrius Williams. Three catches, 101 yards, and a touchdown. Had that 73-yard near touchdown. He just needed one more yard. Uh, Keontae Tyson did well in the air. That's why I'd like to play him at running back. But I didn't. his overall drops by 10. I mean, a uh, wide receiver. Um, most of that is screens. Uh, Scooter Page. Continues to impress with his, like, 84 speed. Six catches, 42 yards, and two touchdowns. Um, Alex Gunderson, I believe this is our 47 overall tight end, uh, 22 yards. And, I mean, blocking-wise, only allowed two sacks. Defense, I mean, tackles for loss. Colby Garland with two. Taj Coles with two. And Jerry and Love with one. Uh, sack-wise, Taj Coles had a sack. Jerry and Love and Garland both split a sack. And interception-wise... Jaden Bully is definitely going to get Pac-12 Player of the Week and probably National Player of the Week. Um, Noah Collins with the pick and Darmarvin Holland with an interception. Great game all around. Let's simulate the week 2-0 to start off our inaugural season. And we get a commit. Two-star strong safety from Georgia. Darren Hemmenberger commits with a fight with the... I guess that's the Dragons. We're, we're ranked... Uh, 101 in the world, uh, in the world, in the nation. Um, we're gonna lose out on this one star. We're still first on this three-star quarterback, Pierre Bobo. Um, we're second on Mike Beggett and uh, Marquise Goldsberry. We're first on. We do lose out on Raheem Frazier. He goes to Auburn. I kind of, I completely expected that. Um, Kobe Garland gets Pac-12 Player of the Week. It was not. I forgot which cornerback. The one that had two picks, it wasn't him? Okay. Kobe Garland, two TFLs. Interesting. Scooter Page wins Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week. 42 yards, two touchdowns. The Pac-12 did not have a good week. And Washington State is that last team in the Pac-12 that we will be facing. Going to be good. This is their first conference game. So we'll see how that goes. We win this, we guarantee a spot. And I think we're already guaranteed a spot in the Pac-12 Championship. Because we had the tiebreaker over Oregon State and Brown. We beat them both. Uh, so we're guaranteed to be the Pac-12 championship. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Uh, upgrade the coaching skills next episode. I'm going to do recruiting off camera and show you guys what I did. Anyways, that's it for me. GG.